This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description. Bright eyed and bushy tailed. That's what they say, isn't it? Can you see how tired I look? That's because I've had about six hours sleep. Because having a pug is like having a fucking child. This bellend decided that six o'clock is feeding time regardless. Now, if you're wondering why I'm feeding him outside, that's because he can't behave and decides that feeding time also means shitting in the house time. So we have to feed him out here until he learns that he's not allowed to do that anymore. Not that he used to do that. He's just decided that that's the new behavior. And watch him flip over his bowl because he can't be bothered to use his slow feeder. Welcome to the humble pug, ladies and gentlemen. Think twice before fucking getting one. So we're definitely just getting a coffee. Still need to do all the usual bits, getting ourselves washed and brushed teeth and all the exciting stuff and have a goddamn coffee so I can wake up before we go for breakfast with the Chung guy. So just to the petrol station, getting some uh, top up. James has gone to top up out there on our way to get Jimmy the Flid. Uh, and then go to get some breakfast so you can watch him eat a minuscule amount of food and watch the rest of us eat real food. See you there. So we have picked up Jimmy the Flid hiding in the back there. Nice high quality mask. You might remember him. He used to uh, he used to make YouTube videos. He used to pretend to be entertaining on YouTube. He used to pretend. Now he doesn't even pretend anymore. Uh, <laughs> We are on our way to go get some breakfast, so I imagine the next thing you'll see is uh, some chung guys chomping down. Yes! And Jamie. And Jamie. Eating a solitary pancake. One. One pancake. With half a bucket of syrup. Mmm. <laughs> Big purple cock. We'll keep your food for the big reveal, Jamie. <laughs> the big reveal! Man, this stuff is delicious. I mean, there's a difference. Look at me, look at my surroundings. Look at me, look at my surroundings. <laughs> I'm still amazed at how tan this makes everyone look. I know, it's wild. None of us have left the house in six months. And then there's just pips. So technically my first round, but it's round two. Uh, the first round I got a bye, my opponent didn't show up for locals, so uh, bye in that round. And then uh, round two, I was playing against Solomon, who's been on the channel before. He was playing the whole Drytron, Vendred bullshit thing. Uh, I kept leaving him with like one card going into his turn and then he'd just draw like 25. Uh, game one was pretty grindy, bit of back and forth. Uh, I felt like I had the advantage and then he just fucking generated five million cards off one uh couldn't do much about it and then game two uh, i went first didn't see any of my side cards any of my uh, hate for the deck none of it was anywhere to be seen uh, so we set three and passed because we literally had ash um 
Ghost Bell, two conks and an Eldlixir. I was like, okay, at least I can, you know, ward him off. Or game one, he'd open Twin Twisters against me after the first turn. So I thought, well, at least if he pops two, I've got a chance of actually still being able to play or to try and play. Uh, and then he summoned Denko Seka. So <laughs> went into my turn. Uh, I made Zeus attack direct with four materials, sent everything else. Um, and then uh, next turn he had like one card in hand and again just generated all the advantage uh, I was forced into Zeus in early and then he was able to just play through it and, and kill me the next turn so uh, I'm a bit unfortunate but it's what it is, can't do much about it so um, I don't think any misplays on my part so that's fine no issues there um, happens so let's see how we get on after round 3 so we are finalised for locals won for the day um i ended up winning my last round uh, mostly because it was a buy so round one i had an opponent who no showed um so technically i had an opponent and then when i got paired for round three i got the buy because we had an odd number of players so uh technically 2-1 today but my two wins i didn't actually have to play anyone so i don't think that really counts but there you go so uh yeah not much to reflect on um i think i played very well in round three against myself test hands that's about about it it's all i could really do played some duel links so anyway we've got locals number two coming up for the day so we'll see how we get on on those hopefully i'll actually get to play some people that would be grand So uh, we're straight after round two because round one we didn't have time because we went to time. Well, like 30 seconds to time, so didn't have time to run out. Uh, we played against Prank Kids. Uh, just, yeah, couldn't do much. Um, there's been a lot of games from opening lots of the same hand trap, so I can't really do much. And then I'm seeing either just Eldridge or just Zoo, and it's just not enough. Um, and then much the same last game, uh, I was against a... Uh, Shroll invoked, and yeah, again, just don't see enough stuff. Um, and then again, the other game, you just see multiple of the same hand traps, so it feels a bit unplayable at the moment, which is kind of frustrating. Um, one or two small misplays, but nothing too crazy, at least that I'm aware of. Um, but yeah, not, fe not feeling good about the deck at all, so we'll see anyway how the next game goes. Fingers crossed it's a bit better, but I think we'll have to chop things up and see what else we can try out. Yes, I'm suddenly home in the recording area of things. It's not been a great locals. Um, to summarise, because I don't like to lie to you guys. <laughs> You're here to laugh at me as much as you are to enjoy my wins, I'm sure. Um, so out of the six rounds I played today, my two wins were one because my opponent no showed and the other because I got a buy because we had an odd number of players. Four matches I did play were all losses um a variety of decks in those losses um mostly with good matchups against eldlich uh, which i feel was a big part of why i lost a lot of the games that i did um very few down to misplays maybe only one game that i can think of or put a finger on that i thought really was down to my own fault if i sort of think back on things which is usually the best way to do it um Otherwise, I was opening multiples of the same hand traps. Uh, obviously, in one part of the engine, but not able to get into another. It felt like I was grinding a lot. Like I could stay, um, I could stay in the game for a long time, but could never actually get over the line. So there was an awful lot of grinding and not getting anywhere. Uh, and it felt like every other deck was just way more resourceful, which is weird because I always thought Eldritch was supposed to be that deck that is very resourceful. So maybe that's a mixture of that, plus the fact that the decks have good matchups. 
Um, it just is what it is. So we're going to look at playing something different now. Uh, we're probably going to go on to Dinos next because it's a deck that I already know quite well. So there'll be less of that having to bed in period and it'll just be a case of playing however the deck, whatever the deck throws at me. And I'll be, should be well equipped to do that because I've played Dinos plenty of times before. So that'll probably be the next one. So yeah, not much, not much positive to say about today's locals. Obviously seeing all the lads and, and that kind of stuff was good. That's, but that's pretty much it. So, uh, unfortunately, a bit of a sour note to end on. It's left me a bit fucking salty, but, you know, it happens. I think it's probably important that it does teach you a few lessons about yourself, but there you go. So, anyway, yes, that's uh, that's pretty much all it for the vlog. So, yeah, I guess thank you very much for coming along. I appreciate seeing you here, and I will see you in the next one.